by the show of hands how many of you want to be successful wonderful by show of hands how many of you want to be happy wonderful welcome to my session observation skills to excel i am meera bobby thank you all for coming here for being here the very fact that you are all here shows that you want to excel in your life i truly appreciate for this i'll give my 100% in this journey of observation skills to excel there are four key takeaways in this journey of observation skills to excel the four key takeaways takeaways are overview about soft skills so here we'll be talking about what is soft skills what is the difference between hard skills and soft skills and also the importance of soft skills then the next one is observation skills here we'll be talking about observation skills what it is and the benefits third one being the application of observation skills here where we can apply our observation skill and the last one how to improve observation skills here i'll be giving you some tips and tricks how you can improve your observation skill so before i start can i have your permission to talk a little bit about myself thank you i'm meera meera bobby i'm a freelance trainer with a reputed college in the city i have trained more than 1000 children for soft skills i also closely work with dr sachin of superhumans with conducting workshops for school children if i talk about my dreams the one that is most close to my heart or rather i would say in fact it was one of my childhood act as little meera used to drape a sari and walk around in the house like a teacher my students would be sometimes my parents sometimes it is my cousins or my uncles and aunts i would conduct classes for them while i go to sleep i'll be dreaming to become a teacher teach teach becoming a teacher but as you know life went on i was got, i got into study i had to study then marriage then children then got little busy and my thought was shelved for some time but i am happy that now this little meera has become big meera and has realized the dream of becoming a trainer now why was it attractive why what attracted me to become a trainer in soft skills i always see how intense the math job geometry theorems algebra formulas chemical reactions in science photosynthesis what not however we don't give any importance to life skills life skills like for relationship we don't know the importance of relationship emotions we don't give which is very very important our schools and colleges are fixated on teaching technical skills or what you call the hard skills do you need technical skill do you need hard skill yes we do need it for a job to get a job you need to have your hard skills but somewhere down the lane we forget about relationships and other things and schools don't concentrate on soft skill they only concentrate on hard skills after every session i feel very happy 
that I was able to add value to someone's life. WHO, the World Health Organization. The World Health Organization says that every person before the age of 15 should be taught life skills. But our children, they can tell many other things. 50 names, country names, flowers, animals, 100 capitals, they'll tell all that. But life skills are just 10. But we don't give any importance to that. So today I would urge all of you after the session to just go to Google and Google and see WHO's life skills. There are 10 life skills on mental health. Now, without further delay, we will get into an activity. How many of you are ready for an activity? Yeah. So now we are going to the activity. First, let me tell you the name of the activity is Spot the Differences. What's the name of the activity? Spot the Differences. I'll be giving you a sheet of paper which will have two similar pictures. You have to look at them and find which, what are the differences and you need to circle them. What you need to do? Circle. circle them. I'll give you two minutes to circle the answers. This is an individual game. Each one will be given a separate paper. And each point that you get, you will be getting one point for your the right answers. Just pass from this side. Please take one and pass it around. All of you have pens with you or I have? All of you have? Please do not start now. I will tell you when to start. Let everyone get the papers. Yes, your time starts now. To find out as many as you can, there are 12 differences. And time, and time. Please put your pens down. Please put your pens down. Otherwise, you will get disqualified. Now, what you can do is please make sure you have written your name on this. Have all of you written your name? Please write your name. And exchange your sheet with the person sitting next to you. You both can exchange. You both can exchange. No. You both can exchange. You both can exchange. Please give it to her. You have already done? Okay. Now, I am going to show you the answers. Please. Please mark the answers. Can you see the answer? Please mark. Give one point for each. You can see that the clock time is different. You can see there is a pin here. There is no pin here. Here the boy is just smiling, here he has put his tongue out. There are three bananas, there is one, uh, there is an ordinary uh, bread loaf here, there is something along with that. There is a flower there, the color of the socks is different. Please mark, give one mark each. Here the candy is bigger, 
than this one there are two people standing here here it's not that and then the this is heart shaped and here it is for the this thing have you all corrected all the this thing give the total marks but i feel that the frame in the middle the green color frame huh. well, that is the also mountain. different yeah yeah i thought it was different and it's circular but then this one doesn't See, that is this is a uh, circular and that is like triangle, yeah, triangle. triangle. but the judge's decision is final so this is what we are going to follow <laughs> okay now give back put the total and take back your sheets put your have you all put the total you put the total take back your sheets all of you have taken back your sheets how many of you have got 12 correct how many of you have 12 correct 10 how many of you have got 10 11 eleven eleven how many of you got 11 1 2 11 okay how many you got 10 you have got you have got 11 so you have got 11 and you have got 11 so both of them get their prize can you all give a round of applause to both of them so now let us move on to what is the learnings from this what is the learnings can someone say what is the learning yes how fast you observe the thing how fast you observe how fast you how observe how keenly we are observing how keenly we are observing anybody else so i'll give my learnings to observation like how you said observation is the most important thing focus is also important because we have to concentrate and do things when we are doing something now we are going to move on to start the session that is the first one is overview about soft skills so what is soft skills soft skills does anybody know what's a soft skills it is also called as life skills interpersonal skills power skills it's known by different words so it is interpersonal skills the very word tells you what is soft skill interpersonal means two people so it is how a person effectively communicates with another person so the best example is like all the example observation skill is one of them same way listening team work time management leadership so many are there examples now what is difference between soft skill and hard skill so soft skill you all already saw what is it it is a how a person yeah interpersonal skills how a person interacts with others but what is a hard skill hard skill is a your technical skills, your technical skills. that is what you learn or the education that you have now what is the advantage another if you say another difference between soft skill and hard skill hard skill is for specifically for getting a job yes right soft skill is used in every walk of life every walk of life you need soft skill now what is the importance of soft skill soft skill is very important because in daily life everywhere every walk of life you need to use soft skills if you are an engineer you may be a doctor you may be you may you would have just gone at home or you would have gone to a restaurant you need to know what is life skills because the way you talk to the waiter or at home how you are going to interact with your children your parents siblings everything matters next we move on to observation skill what is observation skill observation skill is nothing but the use of all the five senses use of all the five senses to collect analyze and recollect the surrounding observation skill is to collect re uh, analyze and recollect the surroundings 
law of gravity law of gravity who found that newton isaac newton how did he find where was he he was sitting under a tree and he was just observing apple fell and he what happened invention he found something new i will tell you another example of some of you here will know the person srinivasan a movie actor in malayalam many of you might know he is a he is from the malayalam industry he is a screen uh, he writes scripts he is a movie director he is a actor as well he makes most of his movies 99% of his movies are a hit they will be very low budget it will have and this person who's acting as the hero he is a very ordinary person he is not a very handsome person very ordinary person low budget film but all his movies will be a hit so someone asked him in an interview how how is it possible that you are able to come up like this with such low budget very simple no glamour nothing it will be a very ordinary story so he said one little thing which is very important he said wherever i am if i am travelling or if i am sitting in a restaurant or if i go meet a friend or a relative or somebody is visiting me i am observing all the time i am observing all the time what are their mannerisms what is the kind of dress they wear how they talk how they behave every little thing he keeps noticing and he starts writing and that's how his script he makes and that's how the movie comes out and he so why my movies are hit is because we are i'm able to connect with the people because it is something which connects with the people so for connecting with people you need to have good observation power now what are the benefits of observation power if you have good observation power invention what we saw just now law of gravity huh have a better yeah yes so first one is invention we already saw the example isaac newton then you won't have conflict yes because if you are able to understand each other you won't have conflict then you know if you are able to observe people what triggers them like when a person is happy or when a person is annoyed if you are able to observe then next time see it might be at home or it might be at your workplace when you go and you see that person every time you say something he gets annoyed you can see it on his facial expression if you are really observing we can make the changes and we can make sure that we don't annoy by talk, talking the same thing or if somebody is very happy we can make sure that we are we tell more about it let them be happy let people be happy it's good to make people happy right so we can those are the benefits that you have another benefit is memory power you keep observing you can improve your memory power now we are going to have another activity shall we have another activity yes. yeah so this activity is called the name of the activity is smart observation the activity name is smart observation so here i will be showing you a picture here so you'll have to observe the picture when i'm showing then i will be circulating question as you need to answer the questions i would have, uh, the picture will you will watch you will be seeing it only for 60 seconds after that i'll be giving you the questionnaire and then i'll give you 2 minutes to write the answer you are not supposed to write the answer till i say start till then you shouldn't start writing and again this is an individual game and one point each for the right answer judge's decision will be final okay so now 
I'm going to show. Are you all ready? So how many seconds will I show the picture? 60 seconds. How much time will I give you to answer the question? Two minutes. Two minutes. So it's clear? So shall we jump to the picture? Your time starts now. and time and time now i'm going to give you the questionnaire please we pass some from this side please pass it from this side please do not start writing i will tell you when to start please take one and pass it over If you have extra, you can pass it on to me. Please write your name. Please write your name. And your time starts now. You can start answering. And time, and time. Please put your pen down. If you continue, you will be disqualified. Please exchange your sheet with the person sitting next to you. Now I am going to show the answers. The first one is noon. Please put a tick mark. Noon. Second one is medical kit. Third one is eight. Fourth one is two and the fifth one is red. How many of you have got all the five right? Anyone got all the five right? Four? How many of you got? No. It is noon, that picture I will show you. How many you got? Four? You got four. Okay. May anybody else got four? Only two of you got four. Where? No, one was car, one was a van. That was a car, this was a van. So, Baiju and Sindhu gets the, are the winners. Please. See, at noon, if you see the shadows. Okay, so both of them, please give a round of applause to both of them. Moving on, what is the learning outcome? What did you learn from this? Anyone? What did you learn from this? Your observation. Huh? A lot of things. Huh. Like even now when you said shadow, I didn't realize shadow. I just had a, okay, this is not morning. Huh. Often. Shadow is all over that. Okay. Yes, observation is the mother of memory. Yes, anybody else? So, to wrap it out, it is observation. Focus, look for even little details. Every detail matters. So, now we are moving on to application of observation skills. Where and all we can apply the observation skill. So, the first, 
first one communication in communication observation skill is very much required you know you need to know what they are trying to say and you have to observe their facial expression everything to know so for express for communication is very much required attention to details it is very important that you give attention to details and then the active listening skills you have to actively listen when you are actively listening you have to give attention to their uh, all their things and then analytical ability analytical ability is how you analyze observation helps you to analyze the next one is how to improve observation skills to improve observation skills look for details just now we understood looking for details is important we always see the big things the big picture but we miss out on small things next is to avoid distraction avoid distraction like today we are all distracted with this mobile phone in our hand sometimes it's our thought so please keep away sometime the mobile phone or your thoughts and try to observe what's around because it's going to help you the next one is to keep a journal it is always good to keep a journal because you can note down every little point that you are going to write on, uh, and write that will help you to increase your memory as well the next one is practice being present you need to be present many a times what happens even now i think some of us will be thinking what are we going to make for dinner these kind of things or what oh my children have they come back home what are they doing or shall we plan for something else so all these things keep going in your mind but you should be should practice that you have to be present wherever you are the next one being meditation meditation is again a very good thing which if you meditate you will be able to uh, you can just find a quiet place in your house and then initially it will be difficult sit in the right posture and meditate so that just concentrate on your breath that will help you to uh, do meditation and the last one is doing puzzles crossword sudoku all that helps you in your observation power it also helps you to build memory now to sum up what we did everything that we did is that observation skill is very much required it can it is a ladder to success so with me if you can all do an affirmation so that we will be able to uh, continue with this i'm confident in my abilities keep your hand in your heart i'm confident in my abilities i learn from challenging situations i learn from challenging i'm a good observer i'm a good observer very good we all have 24 hours a day right can't we just keep 15 minutes to observe what's happening around for observation can we do that we can all do that and please make sure that you're doing this affirmations every day so that it will it will become a habit for you the next prize time so prize time i think the first uh, people i will be giving the prize after we finish this and now we are going to can you get the prize question time anyone has any questions no questions all clear now i would like to get some feedback okay thank you so for first game i think four of you got the prize right four of you you who are the four i think it was uh 11 ha you got 11 and you got yeah and the second game you got again i think both of you got second game also very good thank you yeah so now it's feedback time i'll just pass around your feedback form just pass it your feedback is very valuable to me because i will be able to improve myself next time in the next session so please write the feedback form and then you can give the other sheets you can have it with you feedback form alone you can i would like to thank everyone all of you present here for 
patiently coming and I can see that you are all interested. Thank you so much and I spe uh, specifically thank Dr. Sachin and his team for providing me this opportunity. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. It'll help us, it'll inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also do visit our website. Thank you so much.